uh, with regards to the uh, dengue outbreak situation that uh, we are facing right now uh, in Fiji. Uh, we have uh, since uh, October last year until uh, last week Thursday, uh, we have uh, <coughs> uh, 9,825 9, uh, clinically uh, suspected uh, cases of uh, dengue fever. As of the 17th of March 2014, that number has risen to 15,446. Tragically, there has been 10 confirmed deaths from the dengue virus and three suspected deaths that are still under investigation. The youngest being a two and a half month old infant and the oldest an elderly person, 65 years of age. Dengue is very unique. So with most diseases, when you have fever, that's the most critical period. With dengue, the critical period is when the fever disappears. And once the fever disappears, the patient can, the person can either get better and recover totally, or um, as we have seen in, in, in PG, in this particular epidemic and outbreak, the patient can really um, drastically uh, go the other way and get very, very sick or die. I got sick on a Sunday, Went to get a second opinion on a Thursday. She told me to get a blood test done and I found out my platelet levels were really low. Also extremely dehydrated. She just told me I had to go straight to hospital. I was bleeding from my gums, coughing and vomiting blood. It was the worst five days ever. Dengue fever has four known serotypes and is a virus that is transmitted from one person to another by the bite of an infected mosquito. There is no cure for dengue fever, and the particular serotype that has re-emerged since October last year, serotype 3, has not been seen in the country for over 20 years, which means that a large portion of the population have not been exposed to it, and therefore have not developed immunity to the serotype. Perfect conditions for an outbreak of this magnitude. What we call the surge capacity, or the capacity of the health facilities to absorb this large number of cases, is really, uh, I think, close to, close to, close to the maximum. Um, but, but considering the very large number of cases, I think they've responded very well. In the west and in the north of Fiji, the numbers have been lower uh, thus far, but it does appear as though the epicenter or the main burden of the outbreak is starting to shift to the west, and, and I think after that, the north. On March the 14th, 2014, the Australian government, through the Fiji Health Sector Support Program, pledged $1.25 million Fijian to assist the Ministry of Health to purchase vital consumables needed to treat dengue patients, as well as to contribute to a print, radio and television public health campaign to raise awareness of the severity of the dengue fever outbreak, its prevention, its symptoms and its treatment. The only way to stop them is to destroy all possible breeding places. If you don't feel better in three days, please see a doctor. Once dengue outbreaks gain momentum, as this one has, it's extremely difficult to prevent it continuing. Um, and I would suspect that we will see this dengue outbreak continue for, for at least another one or two months, probably until the cool, dry weather in April and May. Um, when typically we see decreased number of mosquitoes and, and less dengue transmission.